gentlemen, you know my next guest from CBS's The Young and the Restless, CBS's Criminal Minds, and now SWAT on CBS. <laughs> Please welcome Shamar Moore. <laughs> Nice to meet a, a veteran of the CBS family. I'm fairly new yeah. to CBS. <laughs> can I? I know this is your show, but I just can I just say a couple of things? Uh, like, of course. A couple you of can. things. Um, of course, you can. You're, you're my guest. Uh, Jake Tapper, you, uh, CNN. I just I, I tip my cap because you guys tell the truth. You tell it your way. You say what you feel. I just say that. Oh, that's nice. Um, Outside of, outside of Arsenio Hall, who's a buddy of mine, uh -huh. that's the only late night talk show I've ever done in my 24 year career. This one right Me here? being on this show, my mother has a crush on you. Um, <laughs> um, you it, daytime talk shows, I guess they want to keep you sober and all that stuff. You've got wine and cheese, you've got beer, you've got, oh, you got cool nice gifts. Here. Very nice. Here. So I just want to say to my mom and to you, I say, Mama, your baby made it. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> say hi to mom. <laughs> uh, well, listen, uh, 21 of your 23 years of an actor yeah. on CBS. Yeah. Um, where do you have your CBS eye tattoo? Because I'm still... <laughs> it must be someplace private, because I have seen most of your naked body oh, on no. CBS. Oh, no. You are a man... Oh, you no. You are a man who does not mind... Uh, Taking his shirt off yeah. uh, frequently. <laughs> you know, not only that, you're on you're on the cover of uh, um, Watch. <laughs> the CC. <laughs> do you do you wherever it is you live? Do they not have air conditioning there? <laughs> Why <laughs> are your shirts flammable? Why do your shirts just fly off your body so easily? My. You know, I'll tell you the truth. I, I was raised overseas. I was raised... This is true, but... First, okay, let me just where, be... Where overseas? Okay, let me just be honest. I, I, I get half Bucky naked for my baby girls. That's what I do. I get half Bucky. <laughs> okay. But, but let me tell you a true story. Let me tell you a true story. So I was born in the United States. I was born in Oakland, but I didn't live in the country uh, until I was six and a half years old. We left the country. So I lived in Denmark for three years. I lived in Bahrain for three years. I traveled to Ghana, Germany, London, Pakistan, the Virgin Islands, Greece. I've got pictures of me on camels. Uh, I only remember one word of Danish, which is foot die. My mother speaks it fluently. But, she, but because it was Europe, we used to go to the beaches and nudity, you know, up top, ladies, whatever. It was a little freer. And so I, I was this little baby running around bucky naked all the time. Okay. And I just was, you know, free at last, free at last. Here I come, people. You know? And, Shamar. and so then we came to the States Shamar, and they not, introduced me to a bathing suit. Anymore. I know. They introduced me to a bathing suit. And I was, I don't know, I was six years old, and my mother put it on, and I was, I was like, get this off of me, get this off of me, and, and now I'm 47, and I guess it's stuck. I don't know. <laughs> How you, you are known, as, I, as, as you've seen. This is actually, this is actually, I can't believe somebody actually purchased this. This is, can we get a, we get a really close shot of this? This is an iPhone case. <laughs> How many, how many crunches do you do a day, Shamar Moore? Um... I do about 500 sit-ups a day, five days a week. Okay. When are you 47, man? I'm 47. When are you going to just like, you know, pull it back from an eight-pack to a six-pack? Well, here's the deal. Just... <laughs> here's the deal. For, I'm 47 years old, but the character that I play on SWAT is 35 years old. So I ain't gonna lie. I got to paint some grays. I got to hold my breath a lot more than I used to hold my breath. Um, <laughs> but uh, I, I want to see if I can get to 60 with somewhat of a three, four pack, whatever. But then, but then finally, what, once, SWAT, once SWAT is a huge hit and you guys get tired of SWAT, I'm finally gonna exhale and let my mini keg live. That's what's gonna happen. Cause look, okay. look, look, uh -huh. there you go. Now, now hold on. Now this is 47. Now when they say action, it works. Say action. Action. And it looks, there it is. <laughs> Now, my publicist is going to kill me for doing okay, that. You ready? All right. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Okay. This is 53. This is 53. This is 53. Say action. Action. 
Action. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Far fewer crunches. Mine is much easier to get. You said you said Baby Girl Nation. Baby Girl Nation. What it, is Baby Girl Nation? Those are I have I I talk to my fans on social media and I call them homies, fans, and baby girls. And the baby girls are no joke. And it's just this legion of women that have been so supportive of my career for all my 25 years. And they okay with you calling baby girl? I, you That's know what? It's fantasizing. Well, it's crazy way? because you know when I've dated women or whatever, you know, women don't call me what you called my last girlfriend. I don't want to hear that. that. All that type of stuff. So when I got on social media, I was like, hey, baby girl, and then I was like nervous to say again and then they were like oh no call me baby girl i like the way you say it on criminal minds call me baby girl and then all of a sudden i was like hey baby girl i see you uh -huh. boo what's up baby girl it's your birthday i was like hey baby. and it became a thing and they were like oh my god he called me baby and it, and they, i didn't i didn't coin the phrase baby girl nation the fans the ladies took it have, took, have took it upon themselves have you tried the baby girl on like other famous people because baby girls like you say to a fan but does baby girl work against like with i I'm against I, with I, well, no, I, you know, my mama always says, own your dignity, own your dignity. And she knows that I'm having fun with my fans. But no, if this is, if this is real life and I'm, to, if, if I don't know you or it's a woman I'm interested in, and I, you know. Have I, you been turned down brutally? Oh my God. Yes, I have. Uh, yes, I have. And I'm actually, I'm actually really proud of it because it's the best way to get turned down. I swear to God, this happened to me. So once upon a time, many years ago, I was hosting a show called, I was hosting a dance show called Soul Train. Sure. I met, I met this beautiful, I met this beautiful woman on stage. She was doing her thing. Her name is Alicia Keys. Now, let me just, hold on. Hold, now, this is before Swiss Beats, all right? This is a long time ago, like 20 something years ago. So she's on stage doing her thing. The beautiful eyes, the cornrows, she's playing that piano and I'm in my dressing room like, Wow, she's bad. So fast forward about three months. I interviewed her that day. Fast forward three months. She's having a listening, a listening party where she's doing her thing. I go to it. Before she goes on stage, she's on the roof. So my boy is like, go talk to her. Come on, you're Shamar Moore. Go talk to her. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Go talk to her. So I go talk to her. And I say, hey, Alicia, it's really nice to meet you, man. You play that piano. I said, you know, I don't know what your man's situation is like, but, you know, next time you're in L.A., you know, if you want to get a drink, go to dinner. And she looks at me, and I swear on everything I made, this is a true story. She looks dead in my face and goes... Look here, son. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Look here, son. I respect your flirt game, but my man's situation is handled. And she walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch out for the baby girls. <laughs> SWAT premieres next Thursday at 10 o'clock on CBS. Shamar Moore, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Khalid. <laughs>